Good morning, mga kadalight. Join me in our devotion today, which entitled, He Freely Gives. Let's read Romans 8, verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Isaiah 53 5 tells us that by Jesus' stripes we are healed. Every stripe he bore as he was scourged was for our healing. And he willingly allowed stripe after stripe to rip into his body so you and I could be well. Don't ever believe the enemy's lie that God wants you sick or that he is not willing to heal you. At the cross, our Lord Jesus demonstrated once and for all that he wants you well. The Bible even tells us that it pleased the Lord to crush him that's in Isaiah 53 10. I used to wonder how it could have pleased the Lord to crush his own son. Then one day the Lord showed me. My wife Wendy and I had gone to a mall and the nearest parking lot we could find was quite a distance away. We did a lot of shopping that day and before we knew it we had our hands Full of shopping bags. By this time, our Jessica, who was a cherubic two-year-old then, was tired and wanted to be carried. I picked her up with one arm and she was so exhausted, she fell asleep on my shoulder almost immediately. As we walked toward our car, I felt my arm go to sleep and I realized the car was much farther away than I had thought. I felt like a million pins and needles were piercing my arm, and I knew I could stop the burning pain by simply putting Jessica down and making her walk for the rest of the way. But she was sleeping so soundly and deeply. I could not bear to put her down. I loved her so much, I was willing to crush my arm so my little darling could continue to sleep. All of a sudden, I began to understand how it could please God to crush Jesus, who is described in the same chapter as the arm of the Lord. That's in Isaiah 53.1. It pleased the Lord to crush His only begotten Son because of His great love for you and me. That was the only way God could save us from sin and disease. And He willingly chose to give up His Son. Today you can have full assurance God wants you healed. The Bible tells us, He who did not spare His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? God already gave us the best of heaven, and when he gave us his darling Jesus, what are our temporal needs when he has already given us a gift that is eternal? Whatever your needs are, whether it is financial provision or healing for your body, they are all lesser compared to the gift of His Son. How shall He not with Him also freely give them to you?